Stuart here from the Four Cross Bush Curve from Pimpton Lumen Scales. Coming to this nice marshy area, I don't know if you can see the reed bed behind me here. Uh, a lovely day, so um, I'm going to be having a, a brew, so I thought it would be civil uh, today. And uh, so I just thought I'd show you something we could do with the, the reeds. So I've already started, uh, but I'll let you see. What I'm creating is, come forward a bit. <coughs> oh, bit there we go. What I'm creating is a uh, cordage out of the reeds. So, I'll not tell you what I'm making, but I'll carry on making this rope. And I'll show you how to make cordage if you, you like. Um, so, now, the only problem is I'm left handed. Uh, so you'll have to figure this one out for yourself the other way around. So what I'll do if I come up to the camera so you can see my hands. Okay. So as you can see I've already started it. This is not a strong rope, this is just a fairly weak rope, but just using the stalks of the reeds. Okay, so what I'm doing is let's just show you. I'm just Put that one down because I just want to show you that as an adder. So you can see what I've done is I've twisted. So I'm twisting the top one and then grabbing the bottom and pulling the bottom one to the top. Okay. Grip here to stop it unwinding and turn twist your top one. Grab the bottom and twist. So your top always becomes your bottom. Okay, so I'm twisting, grabbing the bottom one and twisting up. That's creating cordage, which we saw in the cattail video. Okay, so what happens when I start to run low, I need to add in. So I take another piece, open up, you can see that okay, open up, place my new one in and twist it in like so and again top becomes bottom twist top becomes bottom twist and so on until you get your desired length of cord now let's say this is no this is a quick cord for out in the for what I'm needing it for, but uh, I'll carry on with this and then I'll get me other piece of material that I need. So, just let you see that. I hope you can come in a bit closer if possible. So, twisting all my fibres on the top. Uh, I can move my finger back so you can see, twisting down, so the bottom bundle becomes on the top, clasp here, twist your top fibres, grab your bottom one, and twist again, and so on and so forth, fairly simple, okay, straightforward, so I'm just near the end, for the purposes of this, what I'm wanting this grass a bit of rope for. Okay, so I'll finish this off and I'll catch you in a minute. Okay. This one will do.
should do it. Oh, welcome back. So I've been invited to somebody's wonderful house here and uh, for a brew. So I thought, well, when you come out of somebody's home and you've Oh, get your jacket on, you know, it's, it doesn't look as if you're staying, so I thought I'd better uh, be courteous and uh, look as though I am staying for a brew, so I better hang my jacket up. So this is where our member of rope and our stick. So, all I'm going to do is take stick and, and twist, take the stick, take the rope and then twist the end, if you can see that, to create a hole, I'm going to pop my stick through and then I'm going to re-twist until it's tight, there we go, can you guess what it is yet? We'll just quick granny knot. I put the hair so it bites. Let's see, beetle. So there you go. Well, I'm let's say invited in for a cup of coffee. Look as though uh, I'm staying. So I'll whip this jacket off. Yeah, we wouldn't want up or set our hosts. See, think that we're not staying. So ah. Oh. There we go, feeling more at home. So, I can hear the kettle coming through the boil even better. So uh, there you go, that's how you make a coat hanger in Mother Nature's house. So I'm going to crack on, have my brew, enjoy the sights and the sounds and uh, I'll catch you for another video soon. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye. from above When I climbed down to be set free She took me in again There's a big A big hot sun Beating on the big people In a big hot world When she comes to greet me She is mercy at my feet in her charm, she just throws it back at me. Once I dug an early grave to find a better land, she just smiled and laughed at me and took her blues back again.